Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. Are you really surprised that this is now the case for the latest Super Bowl? No crypto bowl this year. Fox Sports bans all crypto ads during this year's Super Bowl, guys. Following the devastating crypto winter of 2022 that saw numerous high-profile bankruptcies, Fox Sports decided to effectively ban crypto-related ads during this year's Super Bowl in an effort to help protect their viewers from financial loss. Hmm... Interesting that they're choosing to do it this year and not last year, considering the market was at its high last year, January, February 2022, where we would have seen the market right up and around here. Numerous crypto Super Bowl ads. Now the market has uh, you know, effectively decreased by another 40, 50%, 48.8% since this period of time. And now they're saying, no, we, we, we can't have Super Bowl ads. That would, uh, you know, people might lose their money. Yet another example here of the counterintuitive messaging. Promote crypto when it's high, not when it's low, when people should be buying. And I mean, you know, they've got reason to do this. FTX, which was one of the big ones uh, last year, did collapse spectacularly in November. So, I mean, they've got reason to ban ads. Um, but I think that there's more behind this. I think it's because they do not want to entice people to buy cryptocurrency when they did want to entice people was when cryptocurrency was already at its highs. And, uh, you know, now that the market is lower, the real big money, the institutional guys, they're getting into crypto now. And, uh, you know, us plebs, they do not want us to be getting into crypto in 2023. Coincidentally, when it is the best time to be getting into crypto when the market has been depressed. So some interesting news there. I also happen to see this from Mac Attack XRP breaking today. The Bank of England just announced they will be using Ripple, guys. Now, we knew that the Bank of England was a Ripple partner for quite some time. But on Tuesday, the Bank of England, along with the HM Treasury, have published a consultation paper confirming they are currently using Ripple. There is no clarification whether this also includes XRP. However, considering that Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse announced earlier this year that more than 50% of all Ripple net volume is going through the XRP ledger, we can assume this joint project between Ripple and the Bank of England is more than likely an XRP-enabled project. The consultation paper that was published today was titled The Digital Pound, A New Form of Money for Households and Businesses? Question mark. A big part of this consultation paper is the fact that this is an official announcement of the Digital Pound CBDC project that Ripple is included for RTGS real-time gross settlement. So guys, uh, I've, got the, uh, I've got the report up here. Brand new consultation paper from February 2023. So just this month, just released this, uh, I think they said yesterday, Bank of England and HM Treasury, the digital pound, a new form of money for households and businesses. And as you guys can see from this report, directly from the report, cross-border synchronization, a joint project with Ripple, demonstrating that synchronized FX transactions in two different simulated RTGS systems can be achieved, leading to the incorporation of synchronization functionality into the roadmap for renewal. So mentioning Ripple specifically for their RTGS or real-time gross settlement system. And also how this is going to be relating to central bank digital currencies. If you guys didn't catch this morning's video, I'll link it up here in the top right-hand corner. I talked a little bit about, uh, well, I showed a clip of Catherine Austin Fitz, first of all, on Fox News, giving us the warning signs. I mean, we already kind of know that uh, central bank digital currencies, we should be very skeptical about what our governments are doing. And then uh, a lot of news coming out of Britain specifically with regards to CBDCs. Uh, I mean, the good news for XRP holders, we hold XRP. So, you know, this implementation is ultimately going to bolster our bottom line. I mean, we're such a small percentage of the population. Not everybody is going to be benefiting from a CBDC implementation, but, you know, those who hold the tech, those who hold the cryptocurrencies that do have the value that are going to prevail in the future of central bank digital currencies and in the future of crypto adoption just in general, we are going to be the winner. Guys, so if you didn't catch this morning's video, I do suggest you check it out. Gonna keep moving because, uh, you know, on top of that news, I know some of you guys are H bar holders as well. This coming from XRP Crypto Wolf. Did you see this? Tech giant Dell has joined Hedera's governing council. So technology company Dell is joining the Hedera governing council. Uh, the council contains industry heavyweights such as Google, FIS, Aberdeen, or a, 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 some kind of acronym here, and Nomura. Interesting to note, FIS and Nomura also have a Ripple connection. So the technology giant Dell will join the likes of Google, FIS, and Aberdeen uh, on the governing council of the enterprise network Hedera, a distributed ledger technology that uses a hash graph consensus mechanism. Now you're seeing a whole industry start to grow. Lots of investments, said uh, David Fraturna, uh, senior director of technology strategy at Dell. And for us, it becomes more and more serious for us to pay attention and focus on this. So new Hedera partners. 
Great news here for HBAR holders, and uh, I recently joined the HBAR crowd as a proud purchaser of a stash of HBAR. I did this in late December. If you guys remember, I did mention it the day after I made my purchase. So it was right in and around here uh, before the market sank down a little lower. But now, uh, you know, that investment has yielded some great returns so far. I got in at, uh, I think it was 0.041. Uh, now HBAR is trading at 0.077. So uh, great news here for HBAR holders. And so the real world utility cryptocurrencies, HBAR, Algorand, VeChain, XRP, XLM, just to name a few. These coins are going to be the future. So for those HBAR holders, I thought I'd bring this to you. Wanted to thank XRP Crypto Wolf for pointing that out. Also happen to see this, guys, from the Wrath of Kahneman, a recent article out of the Monash Business School. Would banks, king of capital, ever be dethroned? They mention Ripple and Novati as a, as a partnership here. So I do have the report up here. It's a short report, four pages. Wrath of Kahneman, though, highlights this. Okay, the battle, however, appears to occur a paradigm shift in international payments when few fintech giants, such as US-based Ripple and Australia-based Novati, have grown to deliver real-time global payments without tying up capital and destination markets. With disruptive technology and a network of more than 100 financial institutions worldwide, Ripple of the US can settle cross-border payments in a few seconds instead of the 24 to 48 hour turnaround uh, as in the legacy technology-based banks. On top of that, during the pandemic, many central banks went far as to intervene directly in credit markets, weakening the role of commercial banks. As an example, the scale of quantitative easing by the Fed uh, to the tune of $23.5 trillion surpasses any other interventions in its history. Uh, so even just mentioning Ripple and Novati, that particular partnership as, uh, as an example here, really does demonstrate where everybody is now paying attention. The new fintechs disrupting the financial sector. This is only going to become more prominent as the years go by. So I wanted to thank the Wrath of Kahneman just for bringing that up. Uh, also happened to see this guy's from Anders on Twitter, exploring multilateral platforms for cross-border payments. Another report from just last month, the BIS Innovation Hub, IMF, World Group, and CPMI joint paper. So guys, again, I've got the paper up here and I will link it in the description for you if you are interested. What Anders brings up here though, this mentions settlement with crypto as an example. And then he asks this question, how many platforms offer settlement with crypto? I can only name a handful, Ripple, XRP being one of them, XLM being a second one settlement here, type of settlement assets, commercial bank money, central bank money, and crypto coming from the BIS report. So uh, doesn't mention Ripple per se. However, in this same report, they also mention this. The paper also discusses MFS Africa, which recently partnered with Ripple to use ODL, an underrated partnership in my opinion. So just mentioning this, and I know we already know about that partnership. So, uh, you know, some great news here coming out of the BIS, the Bank for International Settlements. In other words, the bank of central banks or for central banks from their most recent January 2023 report in collaboration, guys, with the IMF and the World Bank Group. So great news there. Wanted to thank Anders for pointing that out. And Ripple is on a roll. Another one here from the Wrath of Kahneman. KPMG, 30 voices on 2030. There's that year again. 2030 includes Ripple's SVP, Marcus Trecher, and describes the end of siloed payments, intra and a collaborative banking future, the limit is really going to be privacy, ethics, and how society thinks about services in 2030. So Marcus Trecher here of Ripple was highlighted in this report. Blockchain is redefining the fabric and plumbing of the financial world. Ripple is laying down the rails, obviously setting up the infrastructure for the future of finance. When you get to 2030, the payment system, I think, uh, will be much more ubiquitous and seamless and much more embedded in people's lives and the operation of organizations and robots around the world. Making a payment, receiving a payment, investing, borrowing uh, will feel very much a part of the day-to-day -day activity. When a payment happens between a buyer and a seller or two people working together, that transaction will happen invisibly to those involved. So they're trying to make this um, more of a integrated part of our lives in a way that, you know, we feel it to be more seamless. You know, we don't have to go to a bank and make a payment. The technology is going to be as such where we can transact more so uh, from phones, from apps. Ripple has been laying down these rails. Blockchain is going to be more ubiquitous and it's not just going to be Ripple and XRP. It's going to be many different blockchains. But again, pointing to the value added, the cryptocurrencies that are going to add value to the payment system. Uh, today, there's very much a demarcation between between shopping, banking, running a company, getting to treasury. In the future, those lines will be blurred. A very good outcome will be a world whereby people just get on with their lives. They interact, they work together. The exchange of value that underpins that activity will be invisible, instant, and seamless. So this coming from Ripple's Marcus Trecher here. Uh, an interesting new report, worthwhile document to consider how the future is being pitched. This again from the Wrath of Kahneman includes MAS, 
uh, Sopendu uh, Mohathi, and the settlement executives as well. So uh, the uh, the link is in the description, guys. I do also have it up here if you are interested. And uh, wow, take a look at that. Here are the 30 voices about what is going to happen in 2030. Interesting to make note of where they predict our future's going when it comes to finance and the ease of payments. It's almost like they're trying to program it in our brains. This is how you're going to make payments in the future. And I mean, for us, XRP holders, if you hold XLM, great. All these cryptocurrencies are going to have massive value in the coming years. The demand going to be off the charts. Uh, you know, a handful of these cryptocurrencies are really going to change the world, transform the world as we know it. To the point where is it getting to be predictive programming, guys? This from Guard One and of Light here on Twitter, new Pixar film Elemental which is apparently coming out June of this year. And guess who the movie features? Lumen and Ripple. What? No joke, guys. Uh, I had to do a little bit more digging into this because I'm not familiar with these characters. There's also a character named Guardian. Is this predictive programming? Uh, I know you guys probably remember uh, around Christmas time, this Ripple song came out in a movie called Spirited with Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds. Uh, taking a look at the lyrics here, you want to make a ripple, you want to make a wave, playing safe and thinking small doesn't move the ball at all around the time that we were discussing the SEC lawsuit, ripple making big waves, there's humanity to save, of course we also know about banking the unbanked, saving humanity with a new form of payment system. So predictive programming, we talked a little bit about it back during Christmas time, and now again, what the heck is going on over there at Disney's Pixar? Uh, so Jay down here at Mr. 589X, uh, just giving us a bit of a breakdown here. Elemental characters include Wade Ripple and Ember Lumen. So I just decided to go onto Google and type in Wade Ripple. And as you guys can see here, I've already done it. Wade Ripple and Ember Lumen. Click on that. And uh, there you go, guys. The two characters from this summer's Disney release has not been released yet. Wade Ripple, Ember Lumen. Is it a coincidence that Disney is now releasing a film, perhaps trying to pre-program us to get ready for what is coming down the pipe in the world of finance? The other ironic and I think quite funny thing that I'm just realizing now scrolling down in this tweet thread coming from Frankie Tips 22 here on Twitter, a second release of the trailer is confirmed to take place at the Super Bowl on February 12th, 2023. So even though they're saying they're not going to be any cryptocurrency or cryptocurrency related ads at this year's Super Bowl, at least not any obvious Super Bowl ads, maybe they are trying to tell us something. See, Ripple XRP and Stellar Lumens going to be an integral part of the new financial system. That's just my opinion, but I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.